And that's right, at least six Broadway shows are canceling performances over breakthrough cases. Now, keep in mind, the cast and crew members are all vaccinated and tested regularly, which is why the Broadway world is able to quickly catch positive cases. Hamilton had to cancel their Wednesday night performance. All tickets will be fully refunded. Same thing goes for Tina the musical. They had the same story yesterday due to multiple tests within the company. The show announced a limited number of positive COVID test results there. Harry Potter and the Cursed Child canceled a matinee yesterday, but the evening show went on. Now the curtains of the shows are closing as new COVID cases are exploding. This is a setback for the Broadway industry, and it comes just months after its 18-month shutdown was lifted. Vaccines are required for the Broadway crews, performers, and staff. Plus, audiences, and now including children, must show proof of vaccine and wear masks. Medical experts and city leaders are reminding people to get vaccinated because although the vaccine doesn't guarantee full protection, it can greatly reduce severe complications of the virus. This is a big reason why the companies are able to quickly rebound and get back on stage within a day or two. Mayor de Blasio says the city is leading the way in the fight against COVID. 90% of New York City adults have had at least one dose of the vaccine, leading the nation and keeping us safe in the face of new challenges. The Metropolitan Opera is also enhancing its COVID safety measures. Boosters will be required for all audience members and employees starting January 17th. The company says anyone not yet eligible for a booster will be allowed to a two-week grace period after they become eligible. In the newsroom, I'm Rebecca Solomon, PIX11 News. All right, Rebecca, thank you.